On November 7th, 1991, Magic Johnson shocked the entire world with his announcement that he had tested positive for the HIV virus and was retiring from the NBA. Magic's sudden departure caught many off guard. One of the most surprised was Sedale Threat. The nine-year pro, who was acquired by the Lakers from Seattle for three second-round picks, was envisioned by the Lakers architect Jerry West as a reliable backup for Magic. But just overnight, the man who personally gave him a call to come to LA out of the Lakers picture, the off-season acquisition found himself in the 1987-1988 World Champions driver's seat. Even with the fans skeptical about Threat's ability to run the show, with the season just around the corner, the logo didn't have enough time to work out another solution to the Lakers' worries. He trusted his instincts. His gut feeling was telling him that this journeyman might do just all right. Serving mostly as a backup role player for the 76ers, the Bulls and the Sonics throughout the 1980s, Threat performed admirably, becoming known for his consistency in knocking down mid-range jumpers with the best of them. Most importantly, to that point, he had already appeared in 40 playoff games and contributed 387 points, 141 assists and 46 steals in his respective teams, Philadelphia, Chicago and Seattle. In the process of learning the pro game, he got used to playing with established superstars and prolific scorers such as Charles Barkley, Michael Jordan and Dale Ellis, who all demanded the ball. That's precisely how Jerry West envisioned Threat's role with the Lakers. A serviceable and durable point guard who would not be a liability on defense and who could supply the ball to the team's leading stars. Today, many consider perennial all-star forward James Worthy to be the best LA Lakers player after Magic Johnson's sudden departure. Indeed, Worthy was the Lakers' go-to guy and leading scorer in the 1991-92 season with an average of 19.9 points a game. But to be honest, the quiet guy who was holding the keys of the Lakers' fort was Sedale Threat. Already in the 1991-92 preseason, Threat proved to be an instant fit with the post-showtime Lakers providing the expected veteran leadership covering the starting point guard role on a full-time scale. Suddenly, it became Threat's I'm coming out of the shadow LA party. The Thief, as they called him, recorded his two most productive NBA seasons by leading the 1991 and 92-93 LA Lakers to the postseason. The scouting report said that he particularly likes to shoot going to the left. And he would just do that. He loved to rein that mid-range jumper from the free throw area, getting it done each and every night. His two most impressive offensive performances while wearing the Lakers uniform were the 42-point exhibition versus the Knicks in Madison Square Garden on March 10, 1992 and the masterful 35-point playoff outburst against the Suns in Phoenix in Game 1 of the 1993 Western Conference first round. The culmination of the 1991-92 season came in the form of Threat's game-winning shot in the closing seconds of the last season game versus their crosstown rivals, the Clippers. Everyone in the forum knew that Threat would go left and shoot and he just did that. Doc Rivers flopped on the play and Ron Harper came over to help, trying to block Threat's shot, but he was just too late. Sedale sank the jumper and thus delivered the Lakers another playoff berth, in dramatic fashion. In the first round of the 1992 NBA playoffs, the Lakers faced the eventual 1992 finalist, Portland. After losing the first two games, the Lakers won game three in the forum mostly thanks to Sedale's clutch time heroics. But the scenery for Game 4 had completely changed. Due to the unexpected 1992 LA street riots, the Lakers were forced to play the decisive game in Las Vegas, Nevada, and they lost 76-102. to Next year, during the 1992-93 season, Sedale carried the Lakers to yet another playoff appearance. This time, the Lakers faced the eventual finalist, the Phoenix Suns led by Charles Barkley. And they had the Suns on the brink of elimination, but ended up losing the exciting series by 2-3. With the arrival of rookie sensation Nick Van Exel in 1993, who was one of the best three-point shooting point guards of that era, Sedale accepted his backup role. He did it admirably from 1993 until 1996. 
Sadale Threat completed his 14-year NBA career as a member of the 1996-97 Houston Rockets. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoy our content, please subscribe.